Hey, man, thanks for working out with me. A year ago, it would have never happened. Why you say that? You serious? You're the king of attitude. Hey, your attitude won't so great yourself. Maybe. I'm just glad our rookie season is behind us. Yeah, man, there's only so much garbage you can take from the vest, you know? Yeah, but now you got a big decision coming up. Where you're gonna play, where you're gonna take the next step. Who knows, maybe we can team up in the future. Be a dynamic duo for sure. The future's wide open for both of us. Peace, bro. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and jump up off this roof right now. I'm feeling like nutso. I would never team up with Dante Exum, never. Nah, nah, what I'm saying is, it's only a matter of time for my name is up in the conversation. We talking MVP player. Yeah. Oh, hey, hold up, hold up. Now, you know what? I got to holler at you later. I got to bounce. Peace. Thank you. I told you we have business to discuss. All right, man, let's do it. All right. We got to figure out which teams are going to be lucky enough to be in the bidding for your services. Take a look at this. Tell me which teams top your list, and I'll start making calls. First of all, in that cutscene, I did not have a Bluetooth. I know I was on speakerphone. But I didn't hear anybody on the other end. Come on, 2K. The details. The details. Nah, but checking things out, it looks like it's time for me to choose what three teams I want to look at. Now, uh, of course, they already see that, you know, the Orlando Magic has the top interest in your boy. But I'm not worried about the Orlando Magic right now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go off the list that you guys gave me, as well as uh, a little bit of choices for myself. So... We're probably going to go with the Houston Rockets, the New York Knicks, and I'm thinking the Detroit Pistons. Now, I know what you guys are probably going to say. IKC, the Detroit Pistons are even far more terrible than the Dallas Mavericks. But wait, there is a but. They have a great center and a, a pretty good power forward that's that can get buckets. So if I kind of surround myself self with like somewhat of the Twin Towers and kind of ask for help over social media, I know that I'll probably get a spot, you know, on their roster and can probably do numbers. But the Knicks probably have the best roster for me. Um, I know they have a uh, Calderon right now and I could probably take his spot with ease. So it'll probably be me, uh, Jr. Mello. Uh, Stoudemire or Bargnani, you know, power forward to center, however they play their uh, positions. Because, you know, sometimes Omari might start center or he might start power forward, depending on how that is. And uh, with the Houston Rockets, they just have a, a, a bang-up team all in all for my play style. You know, a little bit of running gun, athletic center that can get up and down the court, as well as uh, James Harden can shoot the pill. Um, I know that Dwight Howard can play good in the post, and, you know, they have a pretty good uh, shooting guard and power forward that can clean up the boards and shoot shots. But let's get back into these cutscenes. Well, good. I'm sure the way you've been playing, everybody wants a piece of you. Now it's up to me to put the best deal together. I'll reach out when I know more. Hey, you make sure you get those fools to open up their checkbook, man. All right? I'll take care of the rest. By the way, sharks. Yep. <laughs> Why am I so obsessed with a shark tank? My God. Better close that mouth of yours unless you're trying to catch flies, little bro. I'm sorry, but why did you just walk through my door? You didn't even knock. All good, player. Just wanted to swing by to let you know we've been watching you, killing these fools left and right, lighting it up like the few rookies we've seen. Rumor has it, you've been watching us too. Might even want you to come join the club. Let me tell you, you sign with us, we're going to do some special things this year. I'm talking ring, scoring titles, all-star game. Wanted to let you know, I'll do it. I don't even know what he just said, but I'm down. He got too much swag. Like, I'm down. Hey, man, you know, I like where your head's at. Me and you on the court together, that's an unreal combination. The league wouldn't stand a chance. So let's make it happen. I'm going to call my agent right now. But see, he didn't even mention Melo. He didn't mention Stoudemire. It's just all about JR, huh? The JR show, huh? There he is. The man that's got to help me build a contender. Oh, is that so? That's why you came over here? Listen up. I know we might not be your first choice in the open market, but let me drop some truth on you. 
You could go somewhere else, a team with a loaded roster already built for championships, but let me tell you, there's only so much stake on the play. What does it even mean? Means you're gonna be begging for scraps at the table. But if you come with us, we can build something special. You'll have every opportunity to get yours, right alongside me. Then we add another piece or two, we'll have a contender on our own. What nah, I'm good. Your mouth's not even moving, bro. Sorry. Man, I respect you and your game. You already know that. But this is a business, and I have to make the best decision for me and mine. Gotta take my time. I'm telling you what's best for you. It's always better to be a big fish in a little pond than a little guppy in a big old ocean. You hear me? I hear you, but I ain't no guppy, bro. I'm a shark. These sharks, though. Yo, I ain't no guppy. I'm a shark. Yeah, plus his voice was weird. There's an awful lot of rumors swirling about you, man. Yeah, is that so? What kind? Kind that says you're fixing to skip town and chase that money somewhere else. Hmm. People sure okay. like to talk. Well, let me tell you something. You might think you have it better somewhere else, but there's something to be said for being home. You know the system, the coaches, the teammates. You stay with us, you can write your ticket in this town. You feel me? Yeah, I tried that for half a season. Didn't work. I really do feel you, man. But I owe it to myself to test out these free agent waters. If I don't find nothing out there, true, I'm going to be right back here to ball with you. You best hurry up. This here is a game of musical chairs. You don't want to get caught without a place to sit down. I'm so sorry, but that man just came in my crib and signed my New York Knicks contract. Like, I'm not going back to Dallas now. All right. The way you've been lighting it up, my job was easy. Oh, so what you're saying is, I could just fill the deals myself and I don't even need an agent, huh? Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm saying no such thing. You can't be bothered with all the minute details. That's my job. Take the pressure off. Deal with all the business people, GMs, shoe companies. Man, would you just spit it out? What kind of deal are we looking at? The life-changing kind. Take a look. All right, so now it's time to choose what team I want to go to in the offseason. Now, looking at things, it seems like the New York Knicks, the Orlando Magic, the New Orleans Pelicans, the Utah Jazz are all offering me the big bucks. Now, I'm going to go all the way to the bottom of the list and see what team needs me the least. That would be the Boston Celtics, so they believe in Rondo more than me, which is uh, a pretty good assumption, seeing as though he probably averages a double-double in assists. But it looks like I'm going to be going to you guys' first choice in that uh, little poll I did earlier this year. Excellent choice. Congratulations. You are now a 100% bona fide NBA star. One of the best players on the planet and about to get paid like one. Hey, shoot, you about to get paid too. <laughs> Amen to that. I'll call and get that contract into your hands as quick as possible. All Make right? sure you get on it because the quicker I sign, the quicker we both get paid. <laughs> I'll call from the car. Congrats again. You've earned everything. Adios. You owe me a shark tank. Don't know you. Yo, I swear to God, I'm getting sick and tired of this goddamn Shark Tank shit. Hey, thanks for coming by. No problem, coach. Listen, I just wanted to let you know how excited I am with you joining our team. I've seen what you can do on the court, and I knew with you signing on with us, we would be capable of some big things. You were one of the key reasons that I decided to come on board. Wow, that means a lot to me. I'm looking forward to working with you and bringing the championship to this city. Aw. Well, just keep developing your game. I think we'll have a pretty good shot at it. Now I'll see you down on the court. It's all good, Coach. I appreciate it. So, calling him Coach and not Doc? That's so lame. Let's start with you, Doc. What led you to take a head coaching position here? Well, it seemed like a great opportunity to come in and move the organization forward. I like the look of the roster and the way I see it. This team has a chance to be good for a very long time. Doc, you've got one of the more impressive players in the league sitting next to you right there. Uh, did his signing have anything to do with your decision to come on board? Well, I'm certainly excited uh, what we can do together, but he's just one piece of the puzzle. I think the team as a whole has a lot of potential, and I'm really looking forward to starting the season. I'd like to get a player's perspective on my first question to Doc. What led you to sign on here? 
Oh, I really felt like this was the best place for me to continue and develop my game. Um, I love the fans here. I love the city. I just think it's a great place to play basketball. And how did you feel when you learned Doc would be joining the team? Oh, man, that was just icing on the cake to me. I've been a fan of Coach Rivers for a very long time now. And I know if anybody can come in here and bring a championship to this team, it's Coach Rivers. Uh, I think Coach and I are really going to make a really great team. I'm ready to get started. Right, Coach? Well, I hope so. <laughs> but now it's time to get to work. We've got a long season ahead of us. Hey, thanks, everyone. Peace, guys. I just cuffed the hell out of that man balls. <laughs> I don't know what what was up with that, but I cuffed his ball something fierce. Yeah, man, I've always been a fan of Coach Rivers. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> but I'm um, simming the off season. Looks like we're about to get in a year or two of my career. I'm kind of mad that I didn't get a Rookie of the Year award, but it is what it is. You know, some things just aren't meant to be gotten in this game. Uh-oh, we're in the locker room. It's time to shut your mouth and let Doc Rivers talk, goddammit. Okay, everyone, I know you're all excited to get started, and so am I. I just wanted to say that I'm excited to be here coaching this team. I think we have a great group of guys, and we've got a chance to go a long way. But that does not happen without us putting in the work. And that starts today with our practice. So let's go out there, let's go play hard, and take the first step towards what I expect to be a great season. Let's not all clap at the same time, fellas. Goodness gracious. That was dry. Well, it looks like I just received uh, upgrade 81 of 100. And um, I also got a new badge, transition finisher. So it looks like I'm going to be dunking and laying up on a fast break. Much more easier than I usually did. But I want to thank you guys for watching this off-season video. I know it was long. I know it was stressful. And I know the cutscenes was dragging along. But I'm going to see you guys in the next video. This is IKC signing out. Peace. Oh, don't forget. Leave a comment. Leave a like. I love y'all. Bye.